Well, hey, I am so glad you're here. I have been waiting to do this video for a couple weeks as we got everything prepared and the space flowing correctly. And now I'm ready to let you all in and give you a tour of my at home, tiny home mobile office unit. Well, if you are new here, my name is Jalan. I am with Far Out Tiny Homes and we build custom tiny homes here in Las Vegas, Nevada. But that is not all we do. We also build container homes and mobile business units, which is what this exact unit is all about. This is a 30 foot by eight and a half foot width tiny home on wheels. It is on a trailer and we will be taking it around once the pandemic has lifted to kind of give everyone an idea of what you can do in, a, in 30 feet of space. Uh, we have an area for drafting, for computer work and design, for greeting our clients, and also for filming our videos. So we feel very blessed that we were able to create this unit, especially because it was created out of necessity. I've always worked from a modest computer desk in my room, and now with the kids home because of COVID, I no longer have any privacy or quiet space in order to get my work done and talk about in interruptions. Oh my gosh, I spent most of my day trying to help the kids get along and trying to help them with their schoolwork and it just got to be too much. So for my mental health and their mental health, we decided as a family that we needed something else. And honestly, this is gonna be a great space to welcome clients into. So without further ado, let's get this tour on the road. Let's go. unit really shows how creative our build team and design team really is. They definitely went the extra mile when it came to the exterior siding. As you'll see, we have a nice cedar and metal accent. The cedar and the steel also hold up very well out here in the desert. Yes, you do have to UV stain it every year, but you know what? That's the price you pay for something this beautiful. So this space is absolutely wonderful. It is truly unique. I really wanted the interior to be a place of inspiration where I felt like I could really focus on the business aspect and then the creation side of our business. So I wanted some place that was calm yet inspiring. So we have created four spaces within this 30 foot unit. The first space being that of the computer slash drafting area. Computer area is 100% custom built countertop space. We actually reused some metal for some previous projects and Josh with his amazing welding skills was able to bring what I had in my head to life. We had a pretty minimal budget to finish out the interior of this unit. So the actual countertops themselves are stained and sealed maple plywood. And also I don't like to sit down at a desk because I feel like it completely just makes me unmotivated. And I'm like, oh, I'd rather just be taking a nap. So I need to stand at my desk. And so when we were envisioning this space, I needed something of height. So this area is amazing because like I was saying before, I'm able to stand at my desk or walk over to like the drafting area, work on a drawing or work on, you know, whatever we're doing for the business and everything is fluid. Every, everything in here has a place because there's one thing about me and I learned this about myself while living in the tiny house is that if I have a bunch of clutter or stuff everywhere, I just kind of check out. You know, like it's like that feeling of being overwhelmed when you have 400 things to do on your list and your brain's like, where do I even start? So that's kind of how my brain approaches clutter. So as you can see, like we don't have anything out on our, on our countertops. Like everything has its place and I work really hard to keep everything, you know, really clean. And this is just how I like my area. So another key element that I really was interested in is having like this grand open space when you walk in. So we made this entrance area a place where we can put a couple chairs ready to welcome back clients into our office space. This will be the area that they'll be able to pull up some chairs, we'll sit at the table and we'll go through their tiny home design. 
So it's a really great space. It's open. We have an 11 foot tall ceiling in here. So the head space is wonderful. It definitely doesn't feel like you're in any sort of tiny space or restricted area. You can take a nice deep breath and you feel comfortable within the space. Okay, so now on to our filming area. If you've seen any of our other videos before, you're going to recognize the background and the LED lights. This is where Josh and I film the majority of our informational videos. Creating this space has 100% helped me stay organized, stay focused, and most importantly, stay creative. did want to share with you all is that in this interior finish budget we didn't have a huge budget budget to do like this really intricate staircase so I told Josh and like let's let's focus on more so reusing material that we have in the build yard and see if there's any way that we can come up with something that is functional and easy to use and obviously aesthetically pleasing so josh came up with this ladder now it's not a ladder in the sense that you have to put your hands on the rungs with your feet and slowly climb up you can stand up straight and walk all the way up the ladder which was super important for me because i didn't want to feel like in the blue baloo we had to climb up this bookcase ladder and it was pretty restrictive and that got old really quick so I wanted to, um, just to be able to pop up there and pop down and not have it be like this big thing that I'm like oh I don't really want to go up those stairs because like I can be kind of lazy sometimes so I mean whatever I'm a human right I just want to show you like how easy this staircase is to walk up it's super functional and the coolest part is that we were able to reuse the scrap material in our build yard to create it. So, I mean, it, it was just an, it was just a win-win all together. And obviously it matches in with the rest of like the theme with this marriage of metal and wood, which I'm just obsessed with, with these white walls and the lines and like, oh, I just love this space so much. So let me show you how rad these stairs are. So as you can see, I mean, I'm 5'5", five five, but I easily can walk up these stairs, no problem. And then like once I get to like that second rung and then going down the stairs is just as easy. But once I get to that second or, well, second to last rung, I just, I, I kind of start to duck down. But it's super simple. And this is a really, it's just really functional and it's open and airy and honestly it's not taking up a whole lot of space because you can see underneath the stairs that's where we're housing our light box and that's where it stays like I literally keep it there and so it actually it worked out so fantastic so up here is arguably my favorite spot in the whole space this is my meditation slash chill area Josh is a awesome guitar player so he likes to come out here and get his music playing on it's just a really nice chill space so let's go check that out hey and you know if you are liking what you see and you want to come back for more hit that subscribe button we would love to have you be a part of our far out fam and don't forget to give us a like a thumbs up if you're enjoying this content thanks guys okay so we're going to head upstairs and i want to show you guys just like that chill area that i was discussing so here we go So welcome to my chill area. I have this awesome Tempur-Pedic bean bag behind me with a super comfortable pillow and a super, super soft blanket. I mean, obviously I'm in the desert, so we stay a little bit warmer than most climates, but when it gets, you know, below 70, because I'm used to 150, I get cold. So this, uh, this chill area is 
it, it's, it does just what it's supposed to do. Just chill me out, refocus me. Really, we've also utilized this space just as a place to come out and read, a place to gather our thoughts, maybe just sit here and draw for a little while. So it's definitely my favorite area. And you can see, like, I'm sitting on this bean bag. This is a five foot bean bag, scored it off of Amazon and I can sit totally upright. I don't hit my head on the ceiling. And when Josh sits upright, he doesn't hit his head on the ceiling either. There is massive headroom up here so you don't feel claustrophobic when you're relaxing. So you might be wondering like, how are you all heating and cooling this space? So we have a Sinville Eco Series mini split AC unit. And this thing works awesome to heat and cool this space. It's super efficient. And we wanted something that didn't, didn't eat up a bunch of power. We wanted something efficient because now we're having to heat and cool an entire space. One really amazing thing about this space is this is 100% solar powered. So we as a company, we are really trying to strive to hit these you know, green mile markers. Soon we're gonna be transitioning the build yard into 100% green building, 100% uh, solar powered. We're going green, so maybe you can go green too. We all really have to do our part, right? So we're happy to just say that we are 50% green now and we hope in 2021 to be 100% solar powered and building your tiny homes 100% from the sun. <laughs> this is just such an amazing angle. I'm up here in the loft and I wanted to really quickly just show you these eight foot tall French doors. They just bring so much natural light and beauty into the space. They definitely need to be recognized. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Far Out Tiny Homes office tour. We are really excited to be welcoming everyone back within our build yard and within our office space in 2021. We look forward to meeting you in person. In about two weeks time, we're gonna be starting a local tiny home office. We're really excited because this is a very small space on a pretty minuscule budget. So we're excited to bring you guys what we come up with. Definitely keep your eyes peeled for that video.